Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel Electron TV. For today's video guys is about Visotron oil mist detector. This oil mist detector guys is the one of the important safety device of our main engine. Oil mist detector system guys is a protection of the engine by sanctioning of oil mist from the engine and analyzing it with this information it's able to predict if an explosion may happen and shut down the main engine and the yellow one guys that connect on the crankcase that's the siphon block and the suction start from there going here And now our uh, main engine guys is uh, running and the uh, oil mist detector is in normal condition there's no alarm and now guys this is the Visatron service box scalar automation and here is the things that we need for uh, maintenance circuit plier And here guys the sintered or sintered bronze filter that we need to install later also this one sintered filter And this one is YouTube manometer. This uh, YouTube manometer, guys, is used for uh, checking and adjusting the negative or the suction pressure of the oil mist detector. And as you can see, guys, we have uh, two markings. And uh, later on, these markings that we need to follow when we try to adjust the negative or the suction pressure of the oil mist detector ok now this is the manual for the oil mist detector let's check here how to replace the sintered bronze filter and how to adjust the negative and the suction pressure of the oil mist detector okay here guys in the manual says monthly check the negative pressure in the measuring head quarterly replace the sintered bronze filter and here annually replace the sintered bronze filter in the pressure reducer okay so here guys in order to do so turn off control air supply remove plug one with o-ring two detach centered bronze filter and three insert new filter install uh, and tighten plug with o-ring and turn off the air supply okay and here if we have faulty guys here in case of number 14 blinking 
replace centered bronze filter clean fresh air bones on both side check adjust suction pressure 60 to 80 millimeter water column or using the youtube manometer guys And now guys, uh, we already open the measuring head. And here is the centered bronze filter that uh, we need to replace. We have a third clip lock. Okay, done replacing sintered bronze filter. After that, we need to check the negative pressure or the suction pressure using this YouTube manometer.
after we put the exact water level on the manometer we need to connect here in the measuring head here now the level of the water on the manometer is equal or in the middle here look is in the middle after that we need to open the supply air and the level of the water on the manometer is changed after that guys we can adjust the pressure on the pressure regulator unit here clockwise or counterclockwise now it's uh, done we already follow the marking of the manometer and you can see the label it's in the correct marking okay guys and uh, that's it to tell you guys uh, it's my first time to done this and for me it's a really good video to share and I hope you learned something in this video guys and if you are new in my youtube channel don't forget to click like and subscribe to my youtube channel guys uh, electron tv to and to all of my subscriber thank you for supporting my youtube channel see you in my next vlog guys